welcome back to my channel this name madnesses my today's video is based on topic 1b of paper 1 of bangladesh studies before starting with the video those who haven't yet subscribed my channel please subscribe the channel this name madnesses and of course let me know in the comment section how about my teaching method as well as whether you are understanding the videos or not this is what we are going to study today that is top bangladesh studies paper 1 topic 1b under topic 1b you will find two different sections one section is based on cultural activities and the other section is based on cultural figure for which i'll make a separate video so this video is only for the cultural activities and these are the cultural activities that we have to study so according to the book we have in total 12 cultural activities in bangladesh starting from language the most important one then we have literature music architecture dance drama jatra alpona painting chitra folk culture and festivals so this is all what you have to study under topic 1b of cultural activities remember one thing music architecture dance drama jatra alpona painting chitra these all are counted under one single group that is known as art music is an art architecture is an art dance is an art so as drama jatra alpona painting and chitra these all are an art and these are the different forms of art apart from this jatra which is mentioned over here you will find some important points based uh, on jatra which you will also be getting in drama because drama is also a part of folk jatra or folk drama then jatra is also a part of music because jatra also contains music jatra is a part of dialogue so which you can say jatra will be falling under literature as well jatra also contains dance so dance also has a part of jatra so jatra is one of the cultural activities which also holds the point of folk drama music dialogue and dance so this is all what you have to study under the cultural activities and from this part you will be getting a question in the in the paper first paper that is question number 1c this question number 1c is based on the cultural activities mostly based on the cultural activities of a uh, paper of uh, topic 1b so if you go through the past paper starting from 2006 till 2019 you will find this section uh, most of the time contains the questions uh, most of the time contains the uh, part of this cultural activities so if you go through since 2013 onwards you will find this part c is, is only uh, they are only asking questions based on the cultural activities okay now this is a sample question which i have taken from 2019 paper that is the recent past paper which we have so in 2019 paper under question number one see this is the question which they have asked this question tests your understanding and judgment so whatever knowledge you have based on that knowledge you have to show what you have understood plus you have to give your judgment so this part is based on the understanding so this roman one is for understanding part And this Roman 2, this is for your judgment part. The examiner will be judging your answer. So this is how the exam this is how the question is being divided. This is the understanding part where you have to show the knowledge that you know, how you have understood that knowledge, how much you have understood that knowledge. And this part is all about the judgment part where you have to show the examiner you have to choose any one of them and you have to judge the correct answer okay now see uh, this roman one explain the importance of each of the following to the culture of bangladesh so you have to explain the importance of each of the following that means you have to write what you have understood from the knowledge some theoretical statements or some theoretical facts are given in the book you just have to relate those to the importance folk culture and religious and cultural festival so folk culture this is the folk culture religious and cultural festivals both are falling under the same title that is the festival so this is eight mark question this you have to answer both of them in roman 2 you, the question is which of these two contributes which of this two contributes more in bangladesh so you have to choose any one of them and say a, a lot more about that particular option 
to people's knowledge of their culture and their heritage explain your answer so see over here which of this contributes more contributes more explain your answer so this is a judgmental question where you have to choose one and give reason why you are choosing that you have to give reason which is for four marks so you can say this is an opinion based question opinion based question where you have to give your own opinion and this will not be same to with other this will be diff this will be differing from the other's opinion as well as the you, uh, you can include the facts the facts that will be showing further extension or uh, you can give the answers from your own just to show just, uh, just to show why you are choosing that now so this is the opinion part and understanding part now in the in one of the videos where i have discussed about the syllabus and the question pattern there i have clearly uh, informed the students i clearly informed you that for this part in part c roman one the mark is eight so if you have a lot of information the base the basic way to answer this part is to give four different information for this part for this part, four different information. You are going to give four different information for this part and four different information for this part. And over here, you are going to choose any one of them and give reason. Suppose you have chosen folk culture, so make sure you have enough point of about folk culture because this is a four more questions where you have to give four reasons. You have to give four reasons because this is a four mark questions so you have to give four reasons why you are choosing this or you have to give four reasons why you are not choosing the other one so if you are choosing suppose you are choosing one if you are choosing versus not you can give four reasons why you are choosing that and zero reason why you are not choosing that three one two two one three zero four this is how also you can follow the pattern suppose you are choosing folk culture so you have to give four reasons why you are choosing folk culture and otherwise it could be three versus two two versus three sorry two uh, i made a mistake yeah two versus two one versus three and zero versus four this is how you have to write your answer so i'm going to solve this question okay on the board so that you get an idea how you how the examiner expects you to write the answer okay first of all i'll be doing this one secondly i'll be doing this one so before that I'll, i just want you to take a picture of this so that you uh, know the question what is the question and you get an idea how you have to structure the answer done now i'll be solving this paper but remember this is where I have to give four informations about folk culture and four informations about religious and cultural festivals. So in this part, I can use the fact. I can use the facts. What am I going to use? The facts, the informations that I have on the book. This is where this is what I'm going to use over here. And for this part, I'll be using the facts as well as my point of view. Both of them I'll be using over here. So my structure will be somewhere based on this one. For this part, this is the structure that I'm going to use so that I get the four mark. Okay. This is a part of the answer that I have written. This is question number one. See, you already know the question. So I will begin the answer by writing us introduction. By giving an introduction, I'll be start. I'll be uh starting my answer so remember for broad question it is a kind of mandatory to give an introduction of one to two lines so i have given an introduction introduction will not be giving you any more but it will be giving you a structure to the answer so that is why i have mentioned an introduction this is what i have written for my introduction both folk culture and festivals including cultural and religious plays an important role in the culture of the country. So this is a lump sum introduction which I have given, taking the information from the question itself. Then I left a line gap and then started with my 
uh, information about the folk culture so introduction and line gap then i have written this folk culture underline the folk culture then i started with my information so in paper two sorry sorry in paper one remember you have to uh, write in continuous sentence with not in the point format in paper one is the point format but in paper two it's a continuous sentence that you have to follow now let us see what i have written over here i have written under folk culture i have written folk arts crafts festivals games dance all are interrelated these all are interrelated in our country in bangladesh and creates a memorable moment in life see this is till here till here this information is taken uh, till here this information is taken from the book folk arts crafts festival games dance are all interrelated till here I have taken the information from the book and then i have showed this and have i've showed the importance of this by extending two or three words that is creates a memorable moment in life so whenever we are having this folk arts crowds or festivals so that means we are having some precious moment which we are saving with us so that is a memorable moment which we are getting so as a result this is important to the culture of bangladesh the next sentence which i have include is the folk arts and crafts of the country includes making of ornaments clothes toys nokshikata utility items and so on so i've given another information based on the folk culture that is what are the things that we are getting from folk culture so we are getting we are getting certain uh, like instruments like clothes then ornaments these all are made from folk culture which is also important for our country then the next sentence which i have written about folk culture these are made by both male and female of all ages so it's both male and female both the genders and of all ages which includes children as well as adults which does not discriminate the gender so that means we are not having gender discrimination in this case both the male and female of all ages they are contributing equally to make this folk culture successful so that is also an important part the most the it mostly requires the natural resources of the country natural resources of the state countries the other synonym of country is state so i have included state over here so what is the most you know the important part about folk culture they are using the natural resources of the state so whatever natural resource we are getting so most of the natural resources are being used to make this folk culture that is also important to the culture such as bamboo cane clay mud etc these all are natural resources which we are getting and they are using this natural resources to produce this folk culture not obviously it's not the festival it's not the games so there is a lot of folk culture like folk arts crafts so these all also into this folk culture so to make this we are using the natural resources so i have given an example for example jars and vases these are made of clay clay is used to make this jars and vases and these are being made by one a particular community which is known as a uh, kumar um, sorry this is kumar kumar and potua men folk of the hindu community they are the one who are making this jar and vases out of clay so here you can see i have clearly given four different information and i have taken the facts from the book and also have also included one or two words which shows the important just to show that no i have been directly copied from the book yes i went through the book and this is what i have understood so remember the question was uh, understanding and judgment so understanding these most of the things i have taken from the book the facts as well as i have used one to two informations which will which will show the examiner that i have read and understood this and this is what i this is what i have understood from the knowledge or from the facts and what are those words this is the first one memorable moment in life okay then i have used this one discriminate the gender okay then i have used this word natural resources so these are the simple words which i have used and most of the informations are direct facts taken from the book so now if you go through this uh, thoroughly you will you will think that you will find that this is not a copy this is not a just a copied and paste part this is what i have understood by reading the facts and what and exactly what i have written what i understood
Now let's just have a thorough uh, radar of this part. Folk arts, crafts, festival, games, dance, all, all are interrelated in Bangladesh and creates a memorable moment in life. Folk arts and crafts of the country includes making of ornaments, clothes, toys, nokshikatha, utility items, and so on. These are made by both male and female of all gender, of all ages, which does not discriminate the gender. It mostly requires the natural resources of the state, such as bamboo, cane, clay, mud, etc. For example, uh, clay jars and vases are made by Kumar and Potua menfolk of Hindu community. I'm done. I have given exactly four informations and this part contains four marks. So for four marks, I have given four different informations as well as I have also shown my understanding part by using few extra words to show my understanding of the passage. So the examiner is impressed and the examiner will be giving me exactly four marks. Now I'll be leaving, I'll be leaving a one line gap and then start with the next part that is cultural and religious festival. This is the second part of the answer where uh, like I have written this uh, introduction then I have already written the folk culture I have shown that now I have now I have written this culture and religious festival so under culture and religious festival again I have taken the information from the book as well as I have also used certain information from my point of view just to show the examiner that I have understood the facts and then I have written this answer from my own uh, uh, opinion part or from my own understanding part now let's see what I have written Cultural and religious festivals, Utshop is the Bengali word for festivals, which means assembly of people and merrymaking. So this is the information that I have taken from the book. Bangladesh has a couple of both cultural and religious festivals, which helps the country to forget its sorrow and bring togetherness and enjoyment in life. This is the information that I have written from my own understanding based on the festival. What is the information? Bangladesh has a couple of both cultural and religious festivals which helps the country to forget its sorrow and bring togetherness okay uh, togetherness and enjoyment in life cultural festivals are those which the entire country celebrates together not written in the book but i have included this sentence the cultural festivals are those festivals which the entire country it celebrates together and what we see in this cultural festivals we see the path of secularism and non-communalism which means there is no class discrimination and there is no specific religion who are celebrating this cultural festival is the entire country who are celebrating the who is celebrating the cultural festival so again this is the information which i've written from my own through the understanding Example, Ekoshe February is a cultural festival, Pohela Boshak a cultural festival, Victory Day a cultural festival. So we have many other cultural festivals uh, like Independence Day is also one of our cultural festivals. So you can write, you can mention any one or two. I have mentioned three so that you understand you can mention any two of them. So this is the information that I have taken from the book, the examples, but the sentence, above sentence I have written from my own understanding. Next, religious festivals are celebrated by four respected groups. Four respected groups as in we have four, uh, four largest uh, religious uh, religion in our country. So that is what I have written over here. Four respected groups to receive the blessings of their respected religious God. Why? This is they are celebrating this religious festival to get the blessings of the respected God. So that is this is the information that I've taken from the book. To realize all people are equal in front of God. So do remember the religious festivals are also celebrated to realize that we all the humans are equal in front of the God. So it, like we for me, I'm a Muslim. So for me, all the Muslim, all the women must realize that we all are same in front of God. Our Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Otherwise, like we do discriminate that he is a rickshaw puller, he is a cook. So we don't behave well with these people. But once this celebration comes, we all are equal in front of 
our respected god so that is also the second important part of this religious festival and then i have given the example that is idul fitr and azhar for muslim durga puja for hindus christmas for christians and buddha purnima for buddhists so you can include the names according to your own wish the one that you easily can remember but remember you have to give the examples of a fold of uh, of four all the four religious as well as the festival that these four religious are celebrating over here so this is what i have written for cultural and religious festival i did not include the tribal festival over here because my question has only asked me about cultural and religious festival they have specifically mentioned instead of this cultural and religious festival if they did mention only about the festivals then of course you have to write about the uh, tribal festivals as well okay but as this is only for cultural and religious so these are the information that i have given so i have written four sentences four different information taking the facts from the book as well as some of my own opinion or you can say my own judgment about the facts that i have understood so this is how i have structured the question so this is for four marks again i have given four i'll be getting four marks why because i have shown the examiner that i have taken the information plus i have given my own understanding as well like this is the sentence which is fully about my understanding okay then the entire country celebrates together it's about from my own understanding secularism not communism from my own understanding then um to realize that all people are equal in front of the god this is from my own understanding so these are certain informations which i have given uh, to show the examiner that i have understood this part religious and cultural festivals as a result uh, i have received four marks for culture for folk culture four marks for religious and cultural festivals so i got in total eight marks so i'm getting the marks for the two part not for the introduction but if you give an introduction it is actually framing your answer it looks good you are giving a frame to your answer okay so this is how you are going to write the answer of topic one uh topic uh sorry question number one c roman one introduction of one to two lines you can just copy the question then you will leaving a line and start with the first part that is about the folk culture give four informations then i leave a line then give four informations about the next part that is the cultural and religious festival give four different information about that part so uh, you will be in that case you will be getting the four marks but yes for certain informations for example instead of folk culture the question came based on chitro if the question comes uh, on chitro you don't have that much information about chitro in the book so for this part what you have to do is whatever information you get from the book you will be writing those if it's only one information give only one information if you have two information give two information it doesn't matter but you have to confidently write the answer in this part okay yeah sometimes it might happen that you don't have any information about chitra except for the examples in that case what you are going to do so in that case you can write that uh, these chitras are basic are basically paintings on the different bodies it could be a painting on the kite which is known as kite chitra or guri chitra and there is a time and there is uh, these chitras are are this uh, guri chitra or kite chitra are mostly done by the by the children mostly done by the children in the rural areas who loves of flying the kites so this is what you have written this is from your own judgmental this is from your own understanding about the kite painting or this a uh, gori painting then uh, if it's about the body painting yes there are certain people who loves to paint their body it could be a tattoo or during any festivals it could be like pohela boishak it could be like ikushi february in the in this in this festivals the people they love having this uh body painting or face painting so that is what you have that is what you have understood by the term body painting or face painting so you can write over there in under chitro part so you have four you have different chitros example you will be taking any four of the chitro which you understand from the title which you can which you will be understand and you can write from your own point of view this is what the chitro is talking about so use only those four information okay so this is how you have to write your answer i hope your this part is clear for roman 1 where you have to use the fact and also show the understanding part because the question at the beginning of the question they have mentioned about the understanding and the judgment part understanding part is for roman 1 and this is how you have to write the answer 
This is the last part of the answer where I have written about my opinion. So this is 1C Roman 2 where I was asked to choose any one of the options and give reason why am I choosing that particular option. So this is my judgmental part. So this is what I have written in the answer. Now let's read what I have written. According to me, folk culture contributes more to people's knowledge of their culture and heritage. That was what written in the questions. I have copied the uh, question part. As the folk, now I'm starting my answer. As the folk items are produced by the inner creativity of the artist and also from the gifts of nature, this is what I have uh, somehow taken the information, the facts from the book. So, which helps in representing our country in front of the world. So, this is what I have written from my point of view. So, what I have, what we have seen over here, I have copied certain facts from the book. This is the fact that I have copied from the book. But remember, I haven't written this fact in Roman 1. Under folk culture, I did not write this information. I did not write that these are produced the inner creativity of the artist and from the gifts of the nature. I did not include this in Roman 1. So I have included this in Roman 2. That means my Roman 1 part is totally different from my Roman 2. Plus, I have also given my judgment that only through this the world will be knowing. We can represent our country with the help of this folk culture because the question was about the culture and heritage. Culture and heritage was the point. Key knowledge of culture and heritage. This was the main part of the question. So I have to relate my answer based on this knowledge of their culture and heritage. So this is the information that I have that I have copied from the book but this is totally different from Roman 1 as well as I have shown the importance because this is how we can represent our country and in front of the world. The next point is Nokshikatha depicts the Bengali rustic life through needle work by four female artists which picturize the rustic life of our countryside such as daughter or wife taking food on field for husband for father or husband so i have take i have written about nokshikatha over there i did mention nokshikatha but i did not uh, write in details about nokshikatha so here i am showing the importance of nokshikatha that nokshikatha I'm though i have taken this information from the book but this information is showing the culture and heritage of the country and how is that this is a nokshikatha which is which is produced which is made through the needles and of by four female artists so needle and four female artists is representing the knowledge of the culture and what is the heritage that is the rustic life what is this nokshikatha picturizing this nokshikatha is actually picturizing the rustic life the rustic life of the country so through nokshikatha you will know a lot about the countryside what is happening in the countryside the nokshikatha represents everything over there what is happening in the countryside and i have given one of the examples that is either daughter or wife they are taking food on the field for the father or the husband who is working on the field so this is what the nokshikatha is showing so if a, if some if a foreigner comes and if he and if he or she wants to know about our countryside so we can uh, show this nokshikatha and we can also tell this foreigner that or the children that uh, you know this is the nokshikatha which is made by four female artists and they're only using the thread and needles nothing else and this is what this is a scenario this is a scenario what is happening in the countryside so they will be getting an idea about the culture and heritage of our country now the next information this folk artist represents our culture this folk activities sorry whatever folk activities we are mentioning this all folk activities they represents our culture to the children and the foreigners and helps them to know more about Bangladesh so that is a continuation of this part in many different occasions such as Mela cultural programs both cultural and religious festivals folk, folk crafts are always seen so see, I'm, I'm giving a different, uh, I'm giving a reason why I did not choose cultural and religious festival, why I have chosen folk culture. Because even in the cultural and religious festival, folk culture is taking place. And how is that so? 
this is by and I have given an example like uh, like women they are wearing jamdani shari. Jamdani shari is a part of our folk culture. This is also made by the countryside people. So jamdani shari is also a part of our folk culture. So the women in in, in terms of this celebration, it could be a religious celebration, it could be a cultural celebration or any kind of festivals. The women they are mostly wearing this jamdani shari or they are they are wearing the ornaments which are also a part of our folk culture. Or you will find the years our uh, our ears our fills or our front ears these all are being decorated with jars with vases and also flowers carrying on them so these jars and vases are made by kumar and potua that is also a part of a folk culture so here i am showing the difference why i have chosen folk culture why not i have chosen cultural and religious festival even in this part also folk culture is included so that is the reason why i'm choosing or have chosen here so you can see that i have uh, i have shown my judgmental part that why i have chosen folk culture i have given the reasons and also according to the questions demand that is the culture and heritage that is representing the country in front of the world this is also picturizing about the uh, story of the countryside plus this is also included in the cultural and the religious festivals i have also given the example so these are the informations which i have given and the question was four mark for four marks so i think the examiner is impressed and the examiner has given me full four out of four for this part now what you have to remember for this question uh, 1c for both roman 1 and roman 2 please try to answer according to the question mark if you have available information try to answer according to that you don't have to like you know show everything like from your own point of view you can use the facts but remember your this for roman 2 your fact should be totally different from roman 1 plus it should be uh, you know somehow it should be showing the judgmental part also somehow you have to show the examiner that you are writing it from your own point of view in that case or you are showing your understanding part the examiner will be giving you the mark and most importantly is the time management as this is an eight more if this is an eight plus four which is total 12 marks questions okay so how you are going to manage the time for this part use maximum 10 minutes for this part use maximum 5 minutes so that means use 15 minutes for this part not more than that so in that case you might tell me that uh, miss we might uh, this is an exam so you might be nervous and the points the way i have written these points might not come in your mind in the exam uh, during the exam you might get confused so how we are going to manage it for that yes of course you have to practice the more you practice the more you are, the more faster you can increase your speed you can increase your thinking capability as well so that is why it is always recommended that go through the books always and keep on writing keep on writing it will obviously increase your uh, increase your time management increase your writing speed as well as also come out with the points that you have to write i hope you are clear with how to answer the question number one c for both roman one and roman two that was all about the question pattern the structure and how you have to answer the question now we will discuss something in details about this topic uh, 1b what is that uh, that was a straightforward questions given to you about the folk culture and festival sometimes the question might ask you in a different way so if you go through the past paper you will find there could be some different type of question for example the option was given to you development of language development of literature so in this case this is not a straightforward question so how you are going to answer this part obviously this is for eight marks i'm talking about roman one development of language development of literature as you know you have to give an introduction you are giving an introduction then you're writing about the development of language so here you have to show the development the development they're talking about the development so what you're going to show the development of language took place 
under three stages. You are showing the development process. So then you are writing stage one. Ancient period or old period, whatever you say. Ancient period where we have the example of book, uh, example of the books such as Charyapad, Dana Sagara, and Adbhuta Sagara. You have many others. You can also mention about uh, Rama Choritra, that is also a book which was written over here. So I have included three examples, you can give any two examples. So the development of language took place under three stages. The stage one that is ancient period where we have the examples of books such as Charyapada, Dana Sagara and Adbhuta Sagara from where it is clear that the language was twilight which is partially understood so here i have shown the uh, the first development how the development took place in under stage two or under medieval period under medieval period uh, bangla language started to take bangla language started to take or started to borrow started to borrow words from arabic and persian languages examples are seen in the books of translations of ramayana and mahabharata uh, from uh, yusuf zuleka then uh, you can write yusuf zuleka then uh, this Sri Krishna Vija, so you can write a couple of books name, either one to two. So this is the second development I'm showing of language. That in ancient period, this is the book that was twilight that is partly understood. Under the medieval period, the Bangla language started to borrow words from Arabic and Persian languages. And these all we can see in the books, for example, Safar Nama, Sikandar Nama. Then you can write this... Uh, translations of Ramayana, Mahavarata, Sri Krishna Vijay. Then you have this uh, Yusuf Zuleka. So these are the books that you can write over here. Uh, then uh, in the modern period, in the modern period, Bangla language borrowed words from Sanskrit. So we have, you're using many Sanskrit words. Even today, there are many words that, we, that belongs to Sanskrit. Sanskrit plus uh, English plus many other European languages. So we are not only using Sanskrit or English word, we are also using many other different European languages. And why is that so? That is because there was a time when if you talk about uh, like 1600 onwards, even before 1600 also, there were many European countries who came over here in Bengal for trading and later on they became politically ambitious including the England. England was also one of the European countries who came here to trade but uh, after a certain time period they became ambitious and they were they have started they had the thought of ruling and they started ruling the country. So that is also the reason why we are having English and many other European languages apart from Arabic and Persian. So like Baddua is an I guess an Arabic word so there are many words which we are using today which includes the uh, Sanskrit word, English word, European languages arabic and persian as well for example chair chair is not an English, chair is not a bengali word chair is actually an english word so the bengali word of chair is kadara but we don't say kadara we say chair sit on the chair we don't say chair we don't say kadara te bosho we say sit on the chair so sorry uh, chair bosho that is what we say so this is the development of language which we have to follow that means you just have to follow the development that is taking place 
okay so this is how you have to write the answer same goes for literature you have to show the three stages of literature and the examples that is happening in this three stages and then you have to give the an enrollment to you have to give an opinion uh, you have to choose either of them any one of them and then give the reason why you are choosing that so this is one part so this could be the same format for all of them like development of music development of architecture development of dance development of drama so this is this could be the same structure for all of them now the next part which i would like to discuss is about the periods so if you go through the past paper, you will find sometimes they uh, mention certain specific period. So write about the, for example, ancient music. British uh, music, for example ancient music or british music now there is nothing written as ancient music in the book nothing written as british music in the book so how you are going to write this answer remember the date 1200 1800 remember this to you just remember this to you if anything happens before 1200 if anything happens before 1200 those belongs to ancient or old timeline between 1200 to 1800 that is medieval and from 1800 onwards that is modern first of all just remember this timeline if anything happens before 1200 that is old or ancient this is medieval and this is modern if anything happens from 1800 onwards that is modern so remember the timeline that I said 1200 to 1800 now as is the question has asked you first of all about ancient music so what are the ancient music the ancient music are those music you will be starting your answer in this way with full confidence that ancient music you have written the title ancient music now you're writing this music were developed or you can say emerged before 1200 or before 1200 AD so these are the music or this music, uh, these were the musics that have developed before 1200 AD and these all are known as ancient music. And this music, remember in ancient music, whenever we are talking about this ancient period, so during the ancient period, we only had two or three religions, Buddhism, Jainism and Hinduism. These are the only three religions that we had from 1200 onwards that is from 1204 onwards we have Muhammad Bakhtiar Khalji who has taken over the power of Bengal so that is happening from 1200 so that is a Muslim period which we are getting over here so we are talking about ancient period which is happening before 1200 so these are the musics which developed before 1200 were mostly based on religious theme for Hinduism, Buddhism and Jainism. How do I know this? Because under topic 2a, under the Gupta dynasty of topic 2a, it was clearly mentioned that we had Hinduism, Buddhism and Jainism and as well as in topic 2b and at the end of topic 2b and at the beginning of topic 2 it's mentioned Muhammad Bakhtiar Khalji has captured Bengal by defeating Lakshmana Sena in 1204 and started the Muslim era in Bengal. So from those information I have taken this point. Okay, so then you can say uh, mostly so based on this Hinduism uh, or based on the religion. Uh, example could be Kirtan. Kirtan could be the answer. Why? Because Kirtan is the music that is based on the uh, that was for to praise the god and goddesses of the respective religion so from this i have taken the example fair 
fine you don't know any other uh, you don't know you don't have any idea about the ancient music if you don't have any idea fine no problem but yes there is another information about ancient music that is pala or ballet pala or ballet are also said to be the part of ancient music as uh, during the reign of Mahipala one many ballads or folk lore was written. So Mahipala one's reign was before 1200. As Mahipala's reign was before 1200 and the music and the ballads and folklore were written for him. So this is also a part of the ancient period. So see, I do, we, do, we don't have any information in the book. We don't have any direct information under the music mentioned at ancient music, right about ancient music. So the students will get nervous. It's quite sure even if I would be the student, even I could have been nervous for this sense. But see, I do have a knowledge about the rest of the part because at the, to at the top it's written understanding and judgment. So see, I know I have the knowledge and that is how I have implemented into my no into my written format. That is the understanding part. So how, how the knowledge is, this is the timeline, that is the knowledge and based on this knowledge, I have written the understanding part. This is the music which will be, these are the music which are mostly formed or um, uh, mostly formed or came out before 1280 and this is the first information, second information which I have written, they, they, are the, they are the music which are based on the religious for Hinduism, Buddhism and Jainism and these are the three religions which we had and finally I have talked, I talked about an example of a king that is Mahipala one and during his time there were many many ballads and folklore which were written so this is an, another example which you can write under this uh, ancient music so you can use an example we have two most important uh, like Pala or ballads Maimon Shimho Gitika and Purba Banga Gitika so these are also the other examples of Pala or ballads music which we have so this is how you have to write your answer so don't get nervous write what you know and for this period if they mention you ancient modern or uh, medieval you are going to write this part medieval period is also known as medieval period is also known as muslim period medieval period is also known as muslim period because from here onwards we have the muslim rule so this medieval period is also known as muslim period or sultanate rule or sultanate period so muslim period sultan period sultanate period or it's the medieval period from 1800 onwards this is known as the modern period which is also known as british period which is also known as colonial and post colonial period I hope this part is clear. So 1200 to 1800, before 1200, these periods are known as ancient period or old period. From 1200 to 1800, these periods are known as medieval period, Muslim period or Sultanate period. And then we have the, from 1800 onwards, we have the modern period, British period, colonial period or the post-colonial period. These all answers are, uh, okay, fine. All right, this, uh, this is how you have to think about you ancient music british music of ancient uh, for the, uh, the i mean for the uh, activities it could be like they can mention about right about the ancient language now what is ancient language you know write about the uh, for example write about the uh, muslim literature write about the literature that to, that has uh, that developed during the muslim era so what is this muslim era literature the muslim era literature is about the medieval period literature Sultanate period literature is the literature that took place during the Sultanate period. So another thing, this Sultanate period are mostly these are the literature or the de development, the medieval period development that took place since the Muhammad Bakhtiar Khilji and most of the development took place during the time of Ilyas Shahi dynasty and Hussein Shahi dynasty under topic 2D. So whatever information you'll be getting about literature, language, music, Within this uh, Sultanate period, Ilya Shahi dynasty, Hussain Shahi dynasty, you can include them under this uh, period. Even during the time of Mughal period, Mughal period are the also falling under this medieval period. Mughal is also Muslim period, so that is also falling under this period.
this is the clear timeline that I'm going to show you. 1200 to 1800 before this I have ancient or old where you can find the religion if I talk about the religion then I'll be finding uh, Hinduism plus Buddhism plus Jainism so these are the religions that I know about this period. If I talk about uh, the examples, so whatever examples you have in your book yeah, under topic 1b plus topic 2a plus topic 2b. So whatever information you will be getting in your book of topic 1b as, as well as from topic 2a and topic 2b, these all will be falling under ancient period. This is known as, this period is known as medieval, Muslim, Sultanate. Okay, so these are the things that you can mention over here. Then the religion, you obviously knew this is the religion that I'm talking here that is the Muslim okay so they are mostly focusing on Islam or the Muslim era then uh, plus there were toleration there were also religious tolerations then if I talk about this example so whatever example you will get from topic 1b plus topic 2c plus topic 3 entire topic 3 topic 3 is fully based on the Mughal dynasty so entire topic 3 a b c whatever information you'll be getting you will be including this under here that is from topic 1b topic 2c topic 3 a b and c all right then we have finally after this we have this this is 18 plus 1800 plus I mean so you will be getting this is known as the modern period modern sometime colonial sometime uh, post colonial sometime british period okay modern period colonial period post colonial period and british period so here you have to you will be getting the informations which will be coming from the book 1d sorry 1b whatever information you'll be getting in 1b you have to write this one now there are certain informations which you can also get in 1A. 1A, 1A and 1A. So this 1A has 8 literary figures. We Under 1A we have 8 literary figures. So whichever you have to go through the timeline of the 8 literary figures. That means I am writing here time line of the 8 literary figures okay say for Begum Rokia her timeline is actually falling under the modern period if I talk about uh, Kazi Nozir Islam falling under the modern period so timeline is also depending make sure your timeline is also depending if I talk about this Alau Alau is falling under 1600 so he is under the medieval period so the examples of Alau's are falling under the medieval period so that is also what you have to See, the timeline of the eight literary figures will also be coming into here. So, okay, like uh, uh, Zainul Abidin, a painter. So, he was in for painting, but if I ask about you the modern painting, so you can include the name of Zainul Abidin under the modern painting. Okay, so this is how you have to write. For example, I'm asking about you about the, uh, moder about the uh, medieval painting. Medieval painting, pictorial art. Pictorial art under topic 2D under Hussein Shahi dynasty it was mentioned that pictorial art was being uh, established in this time. Then Arabic calligraphy, Arabic, Arabic calligraphy was being established in this time. So these are the kind of painting you can say. So this is also a part of painting. Arabic calligraphy were drawn on the a wall of the uh, on the wall that was facing the Qibla that faces the Qibla. So this is also a part of the uh, medieval painting. Okay, so.
how you have to from where you'll be getting the information so i hope that's clear to you so under topic one you have to see the timeline of the fee of the literary fee course if the timeline is falling under ancient medieval or modern so then you can use the example then the ancient period is the religion then this is the examples from where you have to take the religion and done and for the modern period is all the religion and whatever information you'll be getting from topic 1a topic 1b from during the british period what are the assumptions that you think that has taken place this all will be coming over here so this 1800 plus means the modern period which also means present bangladesh this also means present bangladesh so this period this modern period it not only means the british period so if also Pakistan period is also included here, Bangladesh period is also included here. If they ask you about the modern period, only about the modern period, right? About the modern architecture, right? About the modern architecture. So 1800 plus is the modern architecture period where we have the British example, we have the Pakistan example, we have the Bangladesh example because modern period is from top, is from a plus 1800 plus. If they specifically mention about the British period, so in that case, you will be including only about the British period. You will only include about the British period. If they ask you about British architecture, only the British architecture. Bangladesh architecture, only about Bangladesh architecture. Pakistan architecture, then only about Pakistan architecture. If it's about modern architecture, then you have to include about present, about, you have to include about British, Pakistan, and Bangladesh. So keep this uh, key points in your mind before answering the question okay so this is the one and the last part which i want to discuss is about jatra that is the jatra which includes drama music dialogue and dance so there was a time in the there was a time period when we did not have television in the countryside to entertain those people the jatra and open stage performance used to take this where we had music where we had dialogues dance and drama so you are uh, under dance also you can write about jatra under drama you'll be writing about jatra if there is a specific questions under this part um suppose you have uh, asked to write about dance so dance also includes jatra but apart from this jatra will also be having a different part because jatra is also a part of our cultural activities so in that case we have to mention about all this thing dance drama dialogue and music that was all about topic 1b where we came to know in details about the cultural activities by taking an example from the past paper of 2019 where we have seen how we have to answer the questions how to differentiate with Roman 1 and Roman 2 what is the difference between understanding and judgment plus we also came to know about the three different periods ancient period medieval period modern period what are the other names as well as the religions and the informations that we can uh, take from the book for these three different periods. The remaining part of topic 1b is the cultural figures which we'll be doing in the next class. So I invite you to watch my all the videos as well as do subscribe the channel Disney Madnesses and also press the bell icon to get the latest video of the channel. Hope to see you in the next video. Till then stay happy, stay safe. Allah Hafiz. Assalamu Alaikum.